So here's an interesting bit of news. Uh, Life um, along announced today that uh, in, a, in this press release here that they are partnering with the British Virgin Islands in order to create a US dollar pegged uh, digital currency. And uh, so this is the release that came out today. And it's pretty short, so I'll just read it. Uh, official company release, British Virgin Islands announces BVI Life Digital Currency, uh, Tortola, uh, December 3rd, 2019. As part of an ongoing initiative to grow the financial sector, financial technology sector, British Virgin Islands is hosting its BVI Digital Economy Symposium on December 3rd. The event will connect over 100 stakeholders across private, private and public sectors, such as PricewaterhouseCoopers, in the archipelago's transition to a digital leader. As part of the event, BVI partner LifeLabs.io will present details of the planned digital currency rollout. Key details are as follows. National currency. Since 1959, BVI has relied on the United States dollar as its national currency for business and consumption. In partnership with LifeLabs.io, the government is looking to implement a central digital currency powered by life token pegged one-to-one -one against the U.S. United States dollar with, for use within the territory. It is expected that this transition will reduce transactional fees, increase transaction speed, and be accessible to BVI, uh, BV Islanders, and tourists alike. Rapid cash response. Additionally, Life Labs is developing a rapid cash response RCR fund to offer aid in the event of a national emergency. In September 2017, Hurricane Irma thrashed through the BVI, causing $3 billion in damages with untold emotional trauma to BV Islanders and their families. Uh, due to infrastructure damage, people were unable to access their cash to buy everyday essentials. Life Labs RCR will enable the government to swiftly respond to future disasters, affording islanders unimpeded access to their funds, and thus mitigating the negative impact to their welfare. Platform as a Service, Life Labs Platform as a Service model, which connects blockchain solutions such as merchant services, peer to peer transactions, and cross border payments, is available to all businesses in all sectors as a turnkey solution. A major focus of the one-day symposium is to raise awareness and work with BVI thought leaders. Premier Andrew Fahey, Fahey uh, stated the importance of blockchain technology and the significant benefits it offers to BVI are paramount to the territory. We welcome this innovation with open arms. Our partner, Life Labs, has demonstrated with their proven track record that their ideology is not just mere words, and we look forward to continuing our partnership with them on the rollout of BVI Life, our digital currency. This partnership puts us in a unique per position to make a massive impact in a place that really stands to benefit. The foundation of a digital currency is necessary groundwork for the British Virgin Islands to continue to serve <coughs> the global economy, as it has in the past with the onset of the blockchain revolution, explains Sanjay Jadev, LifeLabs.io CEO. And LifeLabs was conceived with an emphasis on philanthropy, and our work with the British Virgin Islands exemplifies this perfectly with the rapid response with a rapid cash response fund, we're creating necessary tools for the government to defend against disaster protected citizens from the aftermath, added Life Labs CMO David Pugh Jones. And uh, Life Labs was founded in 2017, blockchain ecosystem, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that is the press release. And uh, there was a story over in Cointelegraph about this, which is where I, I saw this. So um, the, apparently, the Life token is going to serve as the gas for the BVI Life um, uh, network. So that token has been is up 31% over the last 24 hours. And uh, let's see what it is at now. And uh, it came back a bit. Uh, so <laughs> uh, that is well, that's an average chart for a crypto, but. <laughs> We look at the seven day chart uh, apparently yeah so uh it's you know we had some uh some insider trading here so that's super anyway <clears throat> this is interesting so you know it's true that uh you know bvi is a it's a very small place um if you guys aren't familiar with them and uh when the hurricane irma came through that you know a lot of things were destroyed so if you have a crypto that it works with the national currency, the national fiat, which in this case is the U.S. dollar, uh, then, you know, as long as you have sell signal, which is much easier to put up than, you know, landline infrastructure, um, you can transact, which is a good, I think that's a positive step. What is completely lacking here is they say it's going to be pegged. What does that mean? What is the mechanism for maintaining that peg? Uh, because, I mean, we've seen fiat currencies, cryptocurrencies, all kinds of different things that start off pegged as one thing, and then end up being wildly different because there's no market mechanism in order to maintain 
that uh, that relationship. So what are they going to do? Are they going to do like a tether where, you know, the the BVI government holds a certain number of U.S. dollars and that is then um, representing the the BVI life tokens? I mean, that would make at least some kind of sense. Um you know, and this is, we've seen a lot of announcements recently uh, out of uh, out of China, out of I guess BVIs um, and Russia and a few other countries that have been talking about creating national blockchain currencies. And um, I mean, technically they are cryptocurrency because they rely on cryptography, but uh, they are not cryptocurrencies in the sense that we have come to um, Come to regard them because there's there's no decentralization, there's no um, uh, you know there's no inherent uh, token economics in order to sustain usage and development uh, like mining or proof of stake or anything like that. So uh, it's interesting, um, you know this this is uh, a case where you know the the adoption of a blockchain and of crypto is going to come from the fringes. Uh, economically and then go towards you know the core uh, so you know the the first world countries you know US UK uh, you know France uh, Japan you know these 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 countries have a lot less need for cryptocurrency simply because you know they are relatively strong internally economically and you could argue that point but that's the basic um, you know by comparison uh, it's certainly true so um, yeah, these these smaller places that are more susceptible to volatility either of their local currency or of the relationships between, like BVI, it's using the U.S. dollar. Uh, you know, they are completely dependent on the U.S. dollar purchasing power and how that translates into their local economy for purchasing power. So now, if BVI life becomes its own thing, then that starts to transition away from that. So uh, it's an interesting development, and uh, you know it's just uh, uh, another incremental step along the way, uh, diversifying a away from fiat in a small way, but in, in a larger way away from uh, centralized control, because you know the um, the the centralized database that we currently have with our digital money, because most fiat currency is digital. Uh, is is one point of control, and that in you know these these national quasi fiat cryptos are at least going to be somewhat broader than that, and uh, also they will be trackable, which will be interesting. So um, unless they be turned into a privacy coin, and then it'll be a whole different kettle of fish. So uh, anyway, I just thought that was interesting, and I uh, wanted to you know let everybody know that this kind of stuff is happening. <laughs>